Hi, Miss Justine here. And for today's lesson, you'll need a piece of foil and a pencil. Have you ever messed up? I mean, really messed up. The fact is we all mess up. We all do wrong things. And the Bible calls those wrong things sin. In fact, sometimes sin can feel like an automatic reflex, something out of our control. Think about it this way. Have you ever gone to the doctor and he has you sit on the table and he takes that little rubber mallet and he boop, bangs your knee? What happens? Your leg automatically kicks. That's a good thing. It means your nerves are working correctly. And that's where they get the phrase knee-jerk reaction. Well, sin can kind of feel like that, out of our control, a, a reaction. Once sin entered our world, it spread to everyone. Like a pandemic, no one escaped. Each of us has a sinful nature, this reflex to go against God's way, and that sin shapes us. Now, did you think of anything that you may have done wrong? If you have, if you've thought of something that you, in a way you messed up, I want you to draw a sad face on your foil. Hmm. Maybe that incident happened a while ago. Maybe you still think about it. You can try to smooth it over. Not only is that sin etched in your heart, it's etched in your memory. Maybe you're having a hard time forgiving yourself or talking to God about forgiveness. Sin makes us sit and wallow in our guilt and regret and our shame. Go ahead and crumple your foil. And then carefully open it up. Wow, that sin on your foil is gone. When God forgives you, he does more than simply erase your sin. He does that. The sins on your foil have completely disappeared. But he also transforms you into a new creation, into the treasure he originally intended you to be. God's forgiveness changes you. Thank you for joining me today. And remember that you are not alone, that God cares for you, and so do we. Bye.